Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm back again. Uh, so I just wanted to cover a uh, one topic um, that I probably should have covered this a long time ago. Uh, I've actually had a uh, subscriber ask in one of the comment sections, um, and that was, how do you know if your fragrance oil has been cut? Uh, now, having spoken to um, manufacturers, um, I was told that all fragrance oil actually is cut to a certain level or a certain degree. And that is because, um, I guess the, the D, DPG has to, a certain amount of DPG has to be used to, I guess, bind the ingredients together. Uh, I don't really know how that's done. Um, but this is what I'm told. Okay. Um, so when, from now on, like actually, like after that, when, um, customers would ask me hey you know is your oil cut or is it not cut um, what I usually say is um, that the fragrance oil is at full strength that's what I say I, I sell it at full strength meaning um, that I didn't compromise it in terms of you know cutting it cut it to a point where uh, now it's 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 practically like a you know an incense burning oil right so to answer uh, the question of one of my subscribers is, uh, you know, how do you know if your fragrance has been cut? I think what he means is, how do you know if your fragrance, how do you know or not know uh, if the fragrance has been compromised? I think that's what he's really asking. Um, and I think the only way to find out if your fragrance has been really compromised is to send it off to a manufacturer. Get online, go on Google, Find a, a fragrance manufacturer and um, send them your product, uh, and and let them tell you uh, how far has it been cut. Um, I've actually sent um, burning oils into to uh, you know certain um, uh, fr fragrance manufacturers, and um, what they'll do is they will you know they'll be able to know if there's a certain amount of dipropylene glycol in the burning oil, obviously. And then, um, and then they can increase the strength of the uh, fragrance oil. But as for the, um, uh, you know, the, the uh, let's say a full strength fragrance, they all have a certain amount of dipropylene glycol in them. And that again, that, like I was saying, is to bind the ingredients together. Um, another thing is, um, you know, some people have just um, not a very good nose, right? Sometimes it's not the fragrance. Uh, I've had on many occasions, uh, customers who will, let's say the order of a certain fragrance from me, right? Egyptian musk is the most popular one that this usually happens to, um, which, which basically they'll say, you know, uh, I can't smell your Egyptian musk, right? Or hey, did you cut it or something? Or they'll ask me something like that. And, um, and I'll tell them, no, I mean, it's the same one I've been selling for years, right? And so what they'll do is they'll end up selling it to a customer and the customers are digging it. They're getting great results, um, you know, good feedback. And then they'll come back to me later on and say, you know what, you were right. Maybe it was just me. I, I can, you know, I can smell it now. So sometimes the, the mind plays tricks, right? Um, you know, that that's another thing that happens. You know, sometimes you might have somebody um, maybe they had like a coke habit or something their their nose is just shot out you know um, that that's another factor I mean some people out there you know maybe they had a history of, of, of you know you know uh, using coke so um, you know um, so those are some things to think about you know um, these are just you know I'm mentioning some things that I know have come up in the past in terms of um, you know uh, Customers wondering if the fragrance is cut or how can they tell if the fragrance is cut and whatnot. So um, I hope this answers the question about how do you know a fragrance has been cut. Again, like I said, the only w true way to know if your fragrance has been compromised is to send it, get online, go on Google and send it to a fragrance manufacturer. Um, and I think that's it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to sign up to my newsletter on the website. It's in the bottom right hand corner of the website. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care.